Hi Lawrence. Hi. Have you got any tips for a groom speech? Alice, I've got so many tips for a groom speech. Can you give me just one then? Yes. There is one tip that will help almost every groom avoid the biggest trap of them all, and that is avoid your speech becoming a list, a series of thank yous that to your audience goes on and on and on. As you go through mum and dad and grandma and auntie, you go through your wife, the people who introduce you, right through to the caterers, the flower people, and then the ushers and how they took you out two years ago to celebrate the fact that one day you were going to get married. This is the key to an appalling groom speech. It becomes boring and it seems to go on forever. So stop and think about the balance. About 50% of your speech should be about your wife. It should be quite fun on the whole. You need some emotional stuff. But then you can work around it, the key thank yous in your life. But make sure that they slip in in the appropriate moment rather than just becoming a list linked by and now I'd like to talk to, about somebody else. So keep it structured, keep it light, and avoid that listing. That's the key to a great groom speech.